welcome to the Science Fiction Rating System Podcast Preview Week. This is where we tell you what films we're going to rate next time out on the podcast that aims to rate everything from 1 to infinity. Not everything, every science fiction film from 1 to infinity. That What a podcast that would be, rating ev- literally everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Pencils. I would put an iPhone above uh, <laughs> Star yeah. Wars episode yeah. 6. <laughs> But below tea bags. But yeah. below tea bags. Oh yeah. Uh, but above uh, the uh, polio, uh, the the abolition of polio. The... Below the uh, below the concept of love, though, I think. Below that. <laughs> yeah. But above. Um, children. Children. According to Sam. Children's. <laughs> They're right laughter, the, the laughter of children. <laughs> La- laughter of children. Yeah. That's at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> no, but, but you know, top of the whole list is the the crushed and broken dreams of children. That's that's what sits at the top there. <laughs> that's why you should have loved Ender's Game. <laughs> but I think even that is take second chat to Jurassic Park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's still top. Jurassic Park. Alan Partridge saying Jurassic Park is above Jurassic Park for me. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this is the science fiction rating system. <laughs> My name's Sam Draper, and those two chuckleheads are uh, Chris Redding. Hello. And Alex Humphrey. Hello. Um, again, like last time, we were a bit sort of, I don't know, a bit giddy, because it's the second podcast we're doing. But yeah, we're, <laughs> we're here to look at three giant robot films. We should always just been yes. the first one, because we're up on it by the second one. That's we? true. Um, Alex, what's what's the deal? Why are we doing this? What's going on? Because of Transformers last night, whatever it's called. Last night I shagged the Transformer, that's the whatever you called it. That's, last that's, night, that's the Stroke song. Yeah, Transformers is out. We're excited, Michael Bay. So we've got giant robots coming at you now. And unfortunately, one of those giant robots is a Michael Bay giant robot because uh, the Transformers. Uh, movie from 1984 with Len Nimoy was vetoed. <laughs> it was As I said hard last veto, time, but uh, heavy still, veto. Still reeling from that one. Um, yep. Anyway, so yeah, this week we're going to watch the trailers for these three films because, for me at least, there's one film here I've not seen. Have both of you seen all these films? Yep. Um, I've not seen Pacific Rim. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Uh, so you watch the trailers. The links to the trailers are in the podcast notes, so you can watch them at home and go, what are you talking about, man? Or you can go, yeah, totally, Michael Bay is awful. Um, <laughs> and you can go, oh, there's Sheila Buff. Remember that guy before he went insane? <laughs> Sheila Mental. Buff. Yeah. He's in Transformers. Sheila. Oh, Shia LaBeouf. Okay, yeah. Uh, no. All right. Is he one of your personal friends? <laughs> I think he is. He is. Do you uh, meet him in camp? I, I think... His name actually translates as uh, Sean the Beef. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yeah, so we're going to watch these trailers and that's it and say what we're going to expect from these films. So let's get right into it with our first film of the day. And that is, I've lost my f- screen with the trailers on it. Transformers. Robots in disguise. You might have got excited then and thought, oh, they're going to watch that fantastic film from the 80s. I remember from my childhood with Stan Bush on the soundtrack. No, sorry, it's not that. It's the absolute no, car sorry, that's on train the kids, wreck. The kids' sci-fi rating system. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So instead, uh, by Chris's request, we've got the cinematic masterpiece that is 2007's Transformers by uh, our list's favourite, Michael Bay. Um, we do a synopsis of each one after much deliberation Chris is going to do this Transformers so <laughs> Chris with all your uh, well researched notes <laughs> can you tell us what happened in the well, not what happens but give us a brief synopsis of the events of Transformers please thank you yeah so Transformers um, Shia LaBeouf is a um, a teenager with teenage problems <laughs> He needs a car. He needs his parents to buy him a car. So he gets a car. It's an old, shabby old car. And um, But unbeknownst to him, 
this car is a transformer. Shit. And he ma- he manages to have stumbled across an intergalactic war, which is still waging between the, these mechanoid things. Um, Autobots and Decepticons. Yeah, and it all kicks off really, and he's kind of a he's kind of the uh, the human who joint it makes an alliance with one side of the what are they the Decepticons and the Autobots. Autobots, Autobots and the Decepticons. He makes friends with the Autobots, basically. The Decepticons yeah. are evil for I don't know why. You can't evil. make friends with Decepticons. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's not really clear how one is good and one's bad because they're both like big robots. Um, they're um, trying to steal the Energon cubes from Cybertron. Yes, it's the okay. All Spark, isn't it? Sam's got the details the on that spark. one. There is an All Spark involved. Yes, the All Spark. Yeah, um, it's all pretty stupid stuff, really. But... All right, all right. <laughs> you, Chris, you you chose it. No, no, no. Review. no. Well, I'm saying we've just—you have to do Transformers, the Michael okay. Bay one. Okay. Well, let's you know. let's let's watch the trailer because it's been a while, ten years, it's been ten years on the road. We're facing war against a technological civilization far superior to our own. Our enemy can take any shape. They could be anywhere. Yeah, the 80s Transformers is in 4K. I know, they just, I was just about to say, they just re-released it, didn't they? Really? Yeah. Still going on about like... the 80s Transformers. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, well, because this one... So there are two things I remember about this film. I remember two things that are, one, an Xbox 360 turns into a robot and makes the <laughs> boot-up noise from a 360, and a dog wheeze on Optimus Prime. That's Yeah, yeah. Um, I was I, so unexcited by this. I didn't. I remember seeing that trailer and just feeling empty inside. Just I nothing. remember as soon as I, as soon as I saw them transform and they like that weird, like everything has to rotate fifty five times. Yeah, that's not my hashtag. Not my Transformers. <laughs> You're thinking of the plastic toys. Yeah, of course I am. That's just what they, anything. <laughs> yeah, or even that's just, what it's based yeah, on. No. They, they were incredible. They were incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So, Chris, did you not have Transformers as a child? Um, I think I did have one or two, yeah. Alex, what was your Transformer quota? quota? I was more oh, into yeah. Ring Raiders. Ring Raiders? Oh, okay. Where's the film of that? <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to say rated. GoBots and I was going to have a go at you. <laughs> uh, I had... Um, I had um, oh, I had a, um, a Megatron, the gun. That was pretty cool. Oh, you had the good one. I always wanted that. Yeah, I never understood why the gun was like the size of a gun. My like, put in my hand, but he was a giant robot. That yeah. made no sense to me. Um, it made more I sense had... in the film though, where he transforms into a gun that Starscream holds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> which is nonsense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had that blue kind of cool like Thunderbird car. That was really good. I had a couple of the dinosaur mm-hmm. ones. I had the T Rex one. Um, Grimlock. Yeah, yeah, I had a few. Machines. Yeah, Grimlock. I've got Grimlock. Yeah, I had a few. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, Logan's got a yeah, couple hot, now, hot a couple of the new plasticky ones, uh, no, which are fun. Like they're that. quite fun, but they're not. They're no. They were plastic. They're not as good. They're not as good. In uh, Japan, they they have all the. They're like they're really into the old designs still. I went to this oh. shop where they had these all these like a massive Optimus Prime from the eighties. But um, wow, it, I, I wish I'd bought it. It was I couldn't really bring it back. It was quite expensive. But was it what, one full, day, like how big? Um, the I'd say probably the truck full, like the truck transformer as a truck was probably about three feet long. Wow. It's massive. Wow. Um, yeah, I was really into Transformers as a kid and a bit as an adult as well. I've got a few of the animated series on DVD, I must admit, and I've got the film. Nothing wrong with that. Twice, and I've got the soundtrack twice, and, 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 <laughs> and I've still got a Transformer by my bed. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got Rod- Rodimus Prime is sat next to my bed right now. Wow. Uh, so yeah, Too I fat. really like Transformers, but I didn't. I've seen this film, and this was enough for me not to watch any the rest of these films. No, uh, no reviews, <laughs> no opinions. No, I'm not saying any opinion. There. I'm just saying that that's yeah, that's what happened. Uh, what do you think of the trailer? Terrible, Chris. Um, it's a good trailer. Yeah, it's a good trailer. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
consider like put your mindset back to like you've not seen any of these Michael Bay film these these Transformers films. Yeah. This is the first thing and yeah, you I see it. lots of mechanics and No, I hated it. The mechanics are awful. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I I never saw this film at the cinema because that trailer was terrible. Yeah, I think they were probably aiming more at kids. You? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm. You're probably yeah, right. Probably. <laughs> and the yeah, the, the <laughs> Megan Fox is in there for anyone older. I think that's and he's mm. the right pervert, isn't he, Michael Bay? Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. that's the difference because the rest of the films, it's all slow motion shots of her ass, isn't it? In the trailers for like yeah. Mm. Yeah. ages and ages. But she's in that for like <laughs> half a second, wasn't she? That one. Yeah, oddly, um, I thought she'd be yeah. in it more. She, they never really develop the female characters. It's just really quite. The politics in these oh, films yeah. are pretty Mass bad. Is yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we've got that to look forward to. And uh, yeah, Sean the Beef, Sean the Beef, sorry, um, proving why he's not still a, a, a great actor. He was really good. I remember he used to be in a TV series and he was quite good in that. And then before he did this, he was, he was in like a, I can't remember what it was called. But it was like a Malcolm in the Middle type. Even show. Stevens. Mm. Even Stevens, yeah. Mm. I have no Stevens. knowledge of that. That's a, a child's TV show from 2000 when Chris would have been 16. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of them. <laughs> so, and you're that, calling me out and wanting to watch Transformers <laughs> animated version. <laughs> and you're, yeah. you're a booster for Even Stevens from the Disney if Channel. I remember right, yeah. <laughs> Wow, exposed. Intriguing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll go into this next week and I'll I'll come with a exclamation no, of why. You can join Chris on his uh, Disney Channel rating system to like check out the... <laughs> <laughs> Even Stevens. Wow. Um, hey, come on, he was funny. I've never seen it. I've never I was seen 16. it. Never even heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's... <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's move on. I think what we've established there is that we've all got our weaknesses, you know? <laughs> Let Transformers in the list. It's taken you 14 weeks to find mine. Ha- so. Hashtag save Transformers. If you really want Transformers to get in the list, get in touch. Because if we get like, we don't get many emails. If we get one email from someone saying, put it in the list, we've kind of got to do it. So I think you should open up every episode with a call to action as far as mail. Well, I, I will do from now on. The call to action is now. Email in if you've got love for Transformers, or the eighties version. It. If you don't love it, I don't want to hear from you. I just want to get. I just want to watch that. <laughs> oh. I want an excuse to buy the four K version. Well, there of goes eighty percent of our interactions. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, let's move on because it's just too upsetting. To our second film. Uh, this these robots aren't as giant, and no. I would I would argue these aren't even giant robots at all. Pretty big robots. They're bigger mm. than humans. Yeah, okay. exactly. I've not seen the film, so I better shut up. Oh, okay. So again, this is a uh, real steel. Uh, Alex, let us know mm. what this is all about. Well, here we go. So, 2011 Sean Levy film, Real Steel, based on the uh, short story Steel. Uh, And it's set in 2020 in the kind of near future where there is no human boxing. There is only robot boxing. And uh, Hugh Jackman's this kind of deadbeat, kind of loser, ex-boxer. I think he has a gym. And he also has a son that he doesn't spend any time with. And he gets kind of shoved with his son. Uh, The mum dumps him on him. Uh, And they kind of bond uh, over uh, training a robot to fight in the real steel boxing uh, rings. And the thing about this robot is he's a training robot. He's not actually a fighter. He's a training bot. And obviously then Hugh Jackman has to use, you know, teach him his special human moves to combine them with that robot to make him more, something more than robot, something more than human. Maybe a robot human boxer. So that's kind of it. Fair enough. Um, That's quite good. (laughs) Yeah, that's off the cuff, that one as well. Yeah, it was. Tried to catch him out there, and he, uh, he uh, still got the synopsis. Yeah, I think he preps them all just in case. <laughs> and he's got the next three prepped. Mm, he just true. prepped every science fiction film ever just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've just got a giant, giant wardrobe full of, oh, yeah, a giant filing cabinet full of film synopsis I can draw on. <laughs> 
Um, before we watch the trailer, uh, can I just make a completely unrelated point about Ender's Game that I forgot to say? Yeah. Um, do you know what the tag? Week. Well, I know, but like, do you know? Do you know what the tagline was for Ender's Game? No. This is not a game. <laughs> well, that just that spoils the entire ending. And it's on the poster. This is not a game. Right underneath the Ender's Game. That's a pretty bad tagline. No, I it's quite a- like that. No, it's what? what no, why do you like that? It's awful. Silly. No, it's silly. It's like if Real Steel's <laughs> tagline was "This isn't real or made of steel." This is not steel. Yeah, this is plastic. <laughs> real Steel. <laughs> real Steel's you know what tagline. Tagline to Sumnus was. Uh, space is dangerous. <laughs> And That's then a good. picture of things that weren't actually in the film. Yeah. The tagline for Real Steel was, Courage is stronger than steel. That's better than this is not a game under so Ender's Game. Let's watch the trailer and, and see if that's true. Shall we? Yes. Fighting okay. has changed. But the crowd, they never change. Just get bigger. The human body can only take so much. But the steel. I saw this at the cinema and really liked it. Yeah, I think it's. I I hope it's just as good as I remember. It was. I remember thinking it was. I like Hugh Jackman. He's doing the classic Hugh Jackman kind of. I'm a wizened old man, and I've got still got fight in me. He's doing that kind of Hugh Jackman, pre, you know, pre Wolverine. Hugh Jackson. I call him Hugh Jackson. Like yeah. Hugh Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't think of any film I've ever seen him in other than X Men. What else has he done? Well, this obviously. Um, he was in. Um, I can't think- oh, which. Is it the Illusionist or one of those, or is it Prestige? He's in one of those two. Oh yeah, the uh, oh the Prestige. The, yeah, Prestige. Yeah, sorry, I've seen him in that. Yeah, uh, Mark Australia. Ryan's also in that, who did the voice to Bumblebee? <laughs> Mark um, Ryan. Oh, there you go, <laughs> Australia. Yeah, yep. I've not seen that. Uh, in um, um, uh, what's it? Uh, the one that is the stage show with the singing, uh, Les Miserables. Les Miserables. Yes, yep. the Miserables. He's, in that. he's, he's um, a good singer. He's in a Peter Pan, isn't he? I think he's in. He's in Chappie. Chappie. Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, he's in a lot of films. Um, yeah. He's good. He's good. He's good he's in X Men. He's good, good in. Solid, uh, good solid. He's good in Logan. He's Ooh, a good Wolverine. Is. He's a very good Wolverine. Have you seen Logan yet, Alex? No, no, I still haven't seen it. And I'm waiting for it to come out on Blu-ray. Then I'll buy it and watch it instantly. Cool. Um, anyway, let's not get onto that now. We can't review that one yet. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that. To be honest, that was—it's a rare feeling for me recently. <laughs> Actually, good. genuinely looking forward to a film. That's going to be good. Cool. All right. Um, nothing much more to say. Is there anything? No. No. Yeah. No. All right. A it's third a film. There. I think you're going to like it. Okay. Cool. Uh, a third film. We have our biggest robots. Um, oh the yeah, they are big, aren't they? This is Guillermo del Toro's 2013 film Pacific Rim. I'm doing this not. This guy's this a proper one. filmmaker, isn't he? He is. Yeah. Um, Doesn't do that animation shit. I, what's he doing? What's he? What's he doing this for? He's always got a hundred projects on the go, and like I probably this is probably the most excited I've been for a film in years. I was so excited for this because I love Godzilla. And this was like what? God. Well, anyway, let's get to the synopsis. Basically, <laughs> so Godzilla is what what they call a kaiju in Japan, i.e., a giant monster. And the idea of this film is that kaiju's they call them kaiju's in this as well are coming through a like a dimensional door um, at the bottom of the ocean, and they're coming onto Earth and attacking Earth and destroying Earth. Already, fucking great. Um, so how do we fight them back? We fight them back by building giant bloody robots and punching them in the face. Because that's the future that's I want. Yeah, that's totally. So you this is what drop a nuke on them, would you? Nope. I'd I'd, I'd throw ships at them with my bare hands <laughs> uh, as a robot. You're gonna get collateral damage if you nuke them, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I'm sure there's no collateral damage in this. No. <laughs> it's all in the Pacific. There's no one living yeah, there. I bet it's a very clean kill. Yeah, so the Jaegers are like running wild all over the place and the robots are fighting back against them. But basically, by the time the film starts, 
the kaijus have basically almost won. And so it falls to, I forgot his name, got me down, Rally Beckett, who is a retired pilot who comes back for one last fight in his old uh, out of um, out of commission mech. They've got a better name than mechs. They call them. Oh, oh what yeah, called? what do they call Alex, them? Can you remember? No, I can't remember. <gasps> They've all got great oh, names, actually. All the robots in it. Oh, Jaegers. They're called Jaegers. Jaegers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Gypsy Danger comes back as a Jaeger and he has to team up with a young uh, girl who is sort of the best of the new ones and they need to go and fight the Kaijus. That is basically it. So you're thinking uh, giant Fuck monsters yeah. versus giant robots. How can it go wrong? I will leave you in suspense <laughs> about whether it goes <laughs> wrong or not. Idris Elba. I will just say that I... Don't want a Pacific Rim two. I don't think Hollywood can do giant robot films, but maybe I'll like it more this time. Let's watch the trailer, shall we? Let's see what we think. Okay. Pacific Ocean. Something out there had discovered us. They counted on the humans to hide, to give up, to fail. Danger. They never considered our ability to stand, to endure, that we would rise to the challenge. Pilots, ready to connect. Let's go fishing. I, I just cannot wait to watch this again. <laughs> yeah. Like, as much as I know I don't particularly enjoy it, I just bloody love big monsters fighting big robots mm. <laughs> so cool so I saw I saw um, this at IMAX and I really liked it so I'm a bit worried about watching it again because the IMAX oh, okay. experience just blows you away and, and obviously that in IMAX yeah, was amazing yeah. so I'm a little bit like I do remember really liking it but I'm a bit bit nervous but I'm hoping I'll like it still I also saw it in IMAX and I wasn't that impressed but oh. I, I do think though that now that I'm less excited about it I, yeah. will, I will enjoy it more I think like yeah, you said before this so is why excited. yeah but this is why we watch the film so many years after they come out because you've got a bit of like yeah. you can step away the from it a little bit it. and kind of yeah the hype's gone on it yeah exactly well that director totally. and that concept yeah. is a huge amount of hype so yeah what do you reckon Chris? it looks like uh, good fun you say you've not seen it? no I've not seen it because it's it it looked like not my sort of thing, right. to be honest. It looked it looked like monsters fighting each other. Hell yeah! Uh, yeah, <laughs> and there's no way you're going to be able to make that into a good film, really. Wrong. Really. <laughs> you never seen it. You never seen Godzilla, or Godzilla yeah. versus Megalon, or Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla, or no, or Godzilla. We Final will do Wars. that soon. Oh, Final Wars. <laughs> Final Wars is brilliant. We've got, we've got Shin Godzilla to watch still. I should have, we should have put that in this one because that's I've got that and I'm keeping that for the Ooh. thing. But anyway, um, so yeah, no, I as I say was disappointed by it, but I'm looking forward to watching it again because I just, I just I remember the the boat being thrown at a monster and I'm just excited to see monsters fight robots in the sea. So cool! It's the kind of film that like, <laughs> you, like you wouldn't believe got made in a way. You know what I mean? It must. What was he coming off the back of? Uh, what was the film he made uh, before? Is he, they must have just greenlit anything for him. Would it be The Hobbit? Was he making Hobbit before this? Or was that after this? Mm. He did uh, Pan's Labyrinth and then... Uh, Hellboy. He did Hellboy, didn't he? Um, yeah. Oh, maybe it was after Hellboy. Quite like the so Hellboy that was, films. Yeah, Hellboy, brilliant. I mean, it, I know he, that was, was, um, he was... Before he made... Oh, Blade Grimm, He was adapting... He was adapting a um, Lovecraft book... Oh, whose name oh. I can't remember, which is basically had the ancient alien concept from Prometheus. Mm. And, oh, him yeah. and him and James Cameron were making that. And then I think Prometheus came out and so they thought, oh, we can't do that. And so then he made oh, this instead, basically. Yeah. Um, well, Blade 2 was, was quite a big success, wasn't it? Or if it, it, I think it was bigger success than one. Yeah. Um, so he kind of, and then, yeah, Hellboy was after that. So, yeah, they probably just yeah. thought, well, you, you can do this big budget Hollywood thing, you know, popcorn movie. Go for it. Have the money. 
Yeah, it just just like weirdly, I guess like it's kind of it, the thing about like entertainment is that basically geeks won, didn't they? And like comic books yeah. everywhere, and you can now make basically a, a big budget Toho film, you know, in in America, yeah. and people are going to come out for it. Um, it's just a weird. It just sort of seems weird to me. What's even weirder is yeah. it wasn't that much of a success financially, and yet next no. year the sequel's coming out, isn't it? There, there's, there's, is there's, he? Did he do the sequel, or is it someone else? I think he is doing the sequel. Uh, let me just Google it. I think it's called Uprising. Um, no, he's producing it. It's directed by Stephen okay. S. DeKnight, who I don't know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um, just seems weird. It's a weird thing to bring back when. Um, wasn't that successful, but well, there's still. I mean, how many Transformers films are we in now? Like, was it the fifth? This one, so yeah, but they make billions though. They make so much money. Mm. Don't they? That's the Maybe difference. it's just trying to get a piece of that pie. I guess the giant robot yeah. pie that everyone wants a piece of. <laughs> <laughs> a double giant robot pie. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's our three films. Um, so, just one final question, Chris: Who's your favourite Transformer? Um. I don't know. I don't know the names. What Alex? Is there one which is a plane? I think... Oh, there's, there's a few planes. that are Starscreen's planes. a plane. Can, hold on. Yeah. Can a Transformer be anything? Or does it just no. have to be a truck? Or They're mostly no. vehicles. There is one, like, yeah. uh, Soundwave's a radio. See, that's what doesn't make any Soundwave sense. Soundwave was like. my favourite, but I never had him. I always wanted little tapes that went in him. That was like a... There's one that was yeah, like a panther, yeah, wasn't know, there? Was that's the one I always wanted and I didn't have. Yeah, yeah. that's a sound waves, my favourite. Yeah, the, the, Chris, the thing is, they are all objects because they are robots in disguise. So they disguise themselves. I, as anything. I used to like Thundercats more. Oh, whatever. So, Alex, who's your favourite? <laughs> who's your yeah? Who's your favourite? I guess. Yeah, no, Soundwave, but I never had him. But I guess of ones I had, yeah, I like Grimlock. It's a bit rubbish that he was a a, a, a T Rex, but I was a child, so of course I thought that was amazing. He was all right. He was all yeah. right. He was it's just bit, a bit silly, isn't I, I it? Like, like you say, they should be machines. It is a bit but... silly. That's it. That's season three Transformers for you. It got a bit silly. Uh, um, yeah, it's true. But uh, my favourite was always Hot Rod. Ooh. Bloody loved Hot Rod. And when he Hot became Rod's Rodimus good. Prime at the end yeah, of Transformers the movie. Brilliant. Oh my God. <laughs> Fantastic. And looking back now, he's a bit of a dick. I also loved Optimus as well. Like I used to cry yeah. my eyes out when Optimus Prime dies in that film. And there's a mm-hmm. shot... Like I might put this near the thing, but there's a shot when he trans the the uh, Decepticons are attacking and Optimus Prime rolls in and he transforms and jumps into the air and he shoots below him and it's playing Dare Gotta Believe You Can Survive. <laughs> anyway, magic. You're really missing out by not watching this one, Chris. <laughs> it, I think it's because it's kind of silly, isn't it? It's kind of. Well, it's a kids' film. Yeah, that's this is why I struggle. <laughs> um, oh well. Why would a big robot, which had many capabilities, why would it be a truck? Because in disguise, to hide on Earth. Yeah, the hiding. If you want to be in the disguise, hiding. just fly like thirty thousand feet. You're not going to be seen there, are you? No, no, because they're like they're they're integrating and learning about human nature, but they need yeah. to disguise themselves. Okay. I'm Is sure it, that yeah. Michael Bay's Transformers will explain all Trump of this though, for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm sure I'll get to talk more about the Superior Transformers film next week. <laughs> um, we should, you know what we should do? We should uh, unprecedented four films. I wasn't into silly things when I was a kid. That's the thing. That's the crux of the whole thing. So Thundercats wasn't like silly? Thunderbirds. Hang on, Thundercats wasn't silly? Well, I'm saying I like that. That was oh, art. <laughs> Things that I used to like collect the models for and have clothes of and all that sort of shit was like Thunderbirds, which was more rooted in reality. You Re- know? Yeah, to- totally serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what point you're trying to make, but I'm not buying it. I'm just saying you're a silly child. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'll accept it. With my Transformer and my, my Godzilla poster <laughs> above me. I don't mind. Um, Whereas I was still watching kids' shows when I was 16. Brother. That's true. Well, even still yeah. <laughs> 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 right, let's leave it there. Um, so everybody at home, get watching these films. Get emailing us your thoughts on said films. Um, 
uh, start the petition for hashtag not my transformers <laughs> do um, some reviews as well like because we need some more reviews yeah rate review subscribe on iTunes follow us on Twitter if you write a review we'll read out the review and we'll do like a little there'll be like little members bar of just people who've written reviews oh, I like we'll, that yeah Play a bit might of even jazz. get another Akodo uh, voucher sent out to you in the post Akado Akado sorry <laughs> I have got a second one, so yeah, if, if you want to win a card, do vouchers. And I've probably got some emails here with some vouchers that I haven't used. So there we, we go, can, yeah. yeah. It'll be rich, rich pickings if you write a return there you a go. review. I've got a 10% off Far Cry 5. There we oh, go. <laughs> not bad. I've got uh, Transport for London, buses still closed down. Nice, nice. <laughs> um... Well, on that bombshell, <laughs> we will leave it there. And uh, we're back next week with our reviews of these three films. Until then, transform and roll out. <laughs> 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 Bye. <laughs> <laughs>